boy, oh boy, do I have a special treat for you guys in this vloggy McVloggerson. Do you know how people are always like, Jared, you use only expensive gear and you never use cheap stuff and... And yeah, I, I get that, but the truth of the matter is you should be able to shoot really good images with anything. That's why tonight, I'm breaking out this. Here, I'm gonna turn this around, I'm gonna show you. Look at this. Do you see what this is? Do you know what this is? Hold on, let me zoom in on that. Let me show you what that says. That says D70. This is a Nikon D70. That is old. It's six point, look at the screen on this. Look at how small this screen is. Let me, let me show you something here. This screen is that small. You can barely see it. It's like 1.8 inches. I almost, funny is, I almost touched this screen to focus this screen. Uh, so guess what I'm throwing in there? This is a one gigabyte Lexar card. This is a one gigabyte 40X Lexar card. I bought this thing for $279 at Allen's camera back in the day when I bought my D2H. Well, that's going in there. I've got the 35 1.8, which is super squeaky and super, well, it's cheap, but I wanna show you that we can do this. And then I've got the, uh, the 50 1.4 AFD that I'm gonna throw in the bag as well. And the bag is this digital holster from Think Tank, and I've got my Black Rapid just in case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a concert, focus on my face, I'm gonna shoot a concert in a crappy low light situation and hope, hope I can get some good pictures. So, so one thing I actually don't remember about this camera is how many raw pictures you get, but yeah. I went from JPEG to RAW because that's where this camera wants to live. I put in the one gigabyte card and now I wanna see how many RAW files we actually get with uh, a one gigabyte card. My guess, here I'm gonna guess, see if my brain is right, one gig, 64, Six, six megapixels. I'm gonna say 334 pictures on a one gigabyte card. That's my guess, let's see if I'm right. All right, here's format. Yes, I'm gonna format it. Did I do it? Where, where's enter? Is this enter? That's quality, oh, enter. Formatting, 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 and let's go to the top and see how many. Yeah, I think I was off. It's 179 RAW files. Now, that's not bad considering a roll of film was 36, and two 36s is, is, is 92. No, 72, right? 36 times two, that's two carry the one. That is six, 72. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. Any guesses to where this camera maxes out at in terms of ISO? I actually know where it is. Here it is, 1600. That's right, 1600 ISO to shoot a concert. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna shoot raw and hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna prove a point. I wanna prove a point. Maybe we'll blow up a picture on the big ass Canon printer at the factory just to prove a point. I actually hope it doesn't suck. I hope it doesn't suck. Let's, uh, let's see how I do and let's uh, walk out in the 16 degree temperatures to go to the Fillmore and the Foundry where the lighting isn't gonna be super good, but I look forward to shooting the band Archiwa. Go look them up on Spotify. I love Archiwa. All right, let's do it. It's really cold out here, but that's why I'm wearing a scarf and a Wookiee jacket because it's cold but I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it when I get in there, but that's okay, because I want to be warm. But now my hand's cold, because I'm, I'm actually holding on to the mitten that was on the other one, so I gotta put that back on. Hello, is this thing, on? yep, I think it's on. All right, so I just got back from the show, and that was challenging. Why was it challenging? Because when you're in one of those bar slash venues where they have like three LED colors, one is green, one is orangey color, and one is straight red with sometimes a blue mixed in, you run into a little bit of trouble, especially when your camera maxes out at 1600 ISO. Uh, also, by the way, this camera shoots, I don't even know how many frames a second because even if you press the button all the way down, it shot one picture, but I could see that e the buffer was four four raw shots on that and I never outran the buffer because I had 179 shots and it says that I filled up the card with 162, which I don't think is the case. I have to look at the pictures on the computer. You've probably seen some of them pop up, but you know, I had to get a little um, 
creative. I tried slowing the shutter speed down to get the drummer to try to get something different because there wasn't much going on. The guys are on stage, the girl's on stage, she's playing the bass and everybody else is doing their thing. They're not moving very far and there's not a lot of light. So I tried to do some of those creative things where you focus in on the guitar head or throw something out of focus with the 51.4 to hopefully get something creative. The drummer seemed to have the best lighting on him, which is abnormal because drummers never have the best lighting on them. So it was definitely a challenge because that screen is what, a TFT? Is that what they used to call them, guys? Let me know down below. A TFT? TF TFT, right? Not LCD. And it was 1.8 inches. Uh, and it's very hard. Or active, ma what'd they call it? Active something? Active matrix? I don't even remember what they called those things. But it was definitely a challenge. Uh, and I hope I got some good results. I'll edit some up, though you've already seen some, and then I'll tell you how I did. Uh, and yeah, so, so there you have it. Challenge. I don't know if I did good or not. We'll see. Now it's time to pop the card out of the D70, pop it into the Lexar hub, and then import everything into Lightroom. So what I'm gonna do now is speedily go through the images, and then I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ones from this entire process, and hopefully, hopefully, I didn't suck. I like that last one a lot. Yeah, I, I had to get creative, man had to do something different oh, man not easy not easy uh let, let let's run through these real fast let me get out of here library start here we'll go some full frame up on this joint i mean they're usable shots still may be better than the cell phone probably still better than the cell phone Yeah, grain, but whatever. The 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 issue is oh, see that's sharp. The the issue is running into shutter speed, ISO at focus. But I like these. I do. I like the movement of the sticks. Yeah, I like I like that. It's not a flash. That's just slow shutter speed. Got to get creative. Got to get creative. So. That's the that's the editing of that guys. Uh, am I happy? <laughs> Not really. Uh, I would like to have done better, but it's definitely a challenge when you're breaking out this camera from 2004. So I did end up shooting 162 raw pictures and I'm not sure why it would tell me 179 on the card, but whatever, it is what it is. I edited them up, I edited it down to about 25 quote unquote keepers. Are they great? Mm, no, I mean I like this one right now, the drummer shot, that was pretty cool because I, I realized that I had to get creative with it. I had to try to do something different to find the image because focus was trouble in that low light and the lighting was just terrible. So I think this shot worked and it's one of my favorite ones from it. There were some other keepers and, and deciding between black and white and color wasn't actually that hard this time because sometimes when I went black and white, it just looked really terrible, but others on a few of them, they did work out. So this was definitely a challenge to break out the D70. I'm gonna continue to use it. And I think one of the things to keep in mind is that this was a really crappy low light situation. I wanna take this thing out into the everyday situation, do some portraits, and when I say everyday, better lighting. We'll do some portraits, maybe shoot some sports. What kind of challenge would you like to see with this 70D right here? It kinda of harkens back to the super secret project that I used to do with the D3000, which I guess was considered better than this one at the time, maybe. Uh, but I'd like to hear what you guys would like to see me shoot with a D70 uh, as a challenge, and I'll go and do it because I just want to prove that it's not always the gear. Now, of course, the gear does help, uh, but I did get some keeper shots, not as many as I would have liked, but you can make it work if you understand the fundamentals and theories behind photography, your composition, your shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Understanding how it all works together is what makes a photographer, and it's not all about using the latest and greatest. So if you can do it with this, you can do it with anything, and that's 
where I'll leave this bloggy big vloggy McVloggerson. So click on the screen right now to check out some other vlogs and other past videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Jared Poland, Froknowsphoto.com. See ya.